Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Coke with coffee. Yes, people, this is Coca-Cola with coffee. And in particular, we're gonna be talking about their vanilla flavored Coke with coffee. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a hands-on with their four pack. Then I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions of the can. After that, I'm gonna chill that said can in the fridge. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee, and I think this one is going to be a um, little bit of a backstory. My grandfather on my mom's side actually worked for Coca-Cola. He did the uh, ad sales for the Asian markets for quite some time, a long time. So Coca-Cola, eh, eh, it runs in my blood a tiny bit. So I might be a little bit biased to the taste of Coke. Then we're gonna figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. Or maybe this one is just gonna be strictly a specialty coffee that you consume now and then. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look around this bad boy. So this is the vanilla coca-cola with coffee boom ski you got a little bean right there very very cool i went with the vanilla of course because it was on sale yes all right great coca-cola taste blended with rich luxurious coffee wow that is awesome no artificial flavors at least that's what they're saying raw chaya very very cool Ooh, only 70 calories per can. That's not actually that bad. I think a Red Bull has about a hundred and something. Um, I could be wrong on that. Uh, zero trans fat. Awesome. Eh, that's not that bad on sodium. That's very low sugar. All right. These are 12 ounce cans. I love this box. It's such a handsome, such a pretty box. Wow. All right. Nutrition facts. All right. As we saw, 70 calories, low sodium. The sugar is unbelievable. A can of soda usually has about 86% of your daily sugar. So this is actually not that bad. But as someone who only drinks black coffee, that's a lot of sugar for my day. Let's take a look at the ingredients right here. High fructose corn syrup, of course. That is what Coca-Cola is. All right. Nothing too crazy. All right, here we go. There is the caffeine. Okay, so that is roughly two cans of Coke right there. So if you drank two cans of Coke, you would be getting that amount of caffeine. Okay, let's crack this bad boy open and take a look at these cans, shall we? Now there is a puncture there. Huh, that's very, very strange. I'm not seeing, is that? Oh, look at that, people. <laughs> That is so funny. They put a finger hole. <laughs> ah, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but there's no second one and it's not that's not how you open it. That they literally just threw a finger hole in there like, "Yep, we know that you're probably not going to carry it like this." Um that is so funny. Okay, so there is no easy open. It's just literally break this in half. Yeah, there's no easy open. And it's a four can, so uh, no need to be easy open. All right, let's reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. All right. Ooh, that one is sticky. All right. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, very, very interesting. The, the vanilla color has uh, definitely changed. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this is brown and that is, uh, that is pale. Um, very, very interesting, that's caramel almost. Um, all right, okay, so up at the top, you got the standard um, non-Red Bull uh, cap, if you will with the tab, uh, very much like a tiny Coke. It's got the wide mouth on there. I remember the days when there was no wide mouth. Yes, people, I am old ski. All right, this is once again, as I said before, that one's dented. Get out of here, dented cans. I wonder if all these are dented. 
All right, this one's fine. All right, this is definitely something that if you're holding in your hand, people are gonna go, yeah, you're drinking a Coke for sure. And they may not know it's coffee. Uh, they may think it's just a slim European Coca-Cola. Um, but man, am I excited to get into this. All right, coming up, we're gonna throw these bad boys into the fridge. We're gonna get them nice and chilled. Um, wait, let's check the fresh by date real quick. <laughs> Come on, Lucas. Stick with it. All right. Where is the fresh by date? Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. November 29th, 2021. All right. That is not too far away. So maybe they're saying because there's coffee in here, they are going to make the fresh by date sooner. Although I don't know if I've ever checked the fresh by date of a can of coke so that is uh very interesting okay coming up we're gonna throw these bad boys into the fridge get them nice and chilled up and then we're gonna get on to the sip test Hey, what's up guys? I wanna talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, let's get into this sip test, people. So it kind of exploded over the top a little bit, but nothing too terrible. The smell smells exactly like um, Coke. <laughs> it really doesn't smell like anything else. It smells uh, Coke vanilla, vanilla Coke. That's basically what you're getting. All right, nonetheless, let's get into this sip test, people. Wow. <laughs> that is not a normal wow holy smokes that is crazy okay so the first hit is 100% coke then it goes to coffee then it goes to vanilla ice cream I kid you not it's literally like vanilla ice cream wow as you're drinking it the inhale in your nose is like coffee ice cream and then, wow, that is absolutely amazing. Coca-Cola, you, <laughs> that is crazy, wow. It blends so well together. Wow, that is what they call dangerously good. That is something that you could drink a couple of these and not even bat an eye. Holy crap. I've, I've personally always been a fan of Coke. Why can I not get this label to show up? There we go. That is a weird, the mouth is there, the front label is there. They didn't do that thing right where 
when you're holding the can to take a drink out of it, the label, oh, I guess that's it there. Okay, that works, cool. So I've always been a fan of Coke and uh, I don't recommend it. I think that it's not good for humans, but if I'm gonna grab something, it's gonna be a Coke, uh, particularly like a cherry Coke. Um, and I'm a huge fan of, of ice cream, <laughs> vanilla, and a huge fan of coffee. So this is hitting all of the boxes. Wow. The, and it's refreshing too. It's like you're getting a, you're getting all the things you love all at once. Um, is it healthy? Probably not. <laughs> Will I drink a bunch of these every day? Probably not. But this is like a treat. This is like something you might have for dessert. Wow. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing. Um, probably the best, <laughs> the best blend that I've ever experienced. Okay, so if I was gonna give this a star rating for originality and for something that truly works, I'm gonna give this five stars. I'm gonna say that you're gonna buy this and you're gonna absolutely love it. This thing is phenomenal, five stars. For health, I'm gonna give it a solid, you know, four stars. It's not terrible, it's not packed full of tons of sugar, it's not packed full of tons of caffeine, but it's got that high fructose corn syrup in there and that gives it uh, a bad rating right off the bat. Um, if they could clean it up a little bit, maybe get rid of the high fructose corn syrup, maybe figure out a way to make it a little bit healthier. I would recommend this to everyone. But as of right now, it's five stars for the taste, it's five stars for the experience, four stars for the health. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna be chugging 10 of these. So I'm gonna recommend this to people who want a, a, a coffee soda treat. Like that, this is just, unbelievable totally blown away i was going into this thinking the aftertaste was going to kill me i was going into it thinking that that the actual taste was terrible um but unbelievable truly truly unbelievable wow good job coke you did it you did it you got me back i'm a fan again i am a fan <laughs> All right, there you go. That's the coffee with Coke. Who would have thought it actually tastes good? Wow. All right, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you wanna join the At Home with Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K. So thankful, so appreciative, but I need your help. Yes, you, right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube and they should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.